But I've been patient And I've been kind Never felt completely free No one's ever 
never had all of me I made me feel so beautiful and sexy Now I'm flying like an airplane Now I'm riding on the open range Now I'm living out my destiny I know the truth, I got it all in you and me I'm giving myself So I'm giving it over I'm giving myself over to you now Like a brand new day Now you and I with the face of faith Ain't nobody got nothing to say, no And from my feelings I never have to run away no more Cause of he's here Holding me tight, however it day and night. Oh, babe, can't you see? I found love in you, and I've learned to love me too. Never have I felt. That I could be all that you see It's like our hearts have intertwined Into the perfect harmony This is why I love you Ooh, this is why I love you Because The one I've waited for my love's design The one he kept for me Until it was time The one that I dreamed about The one I can't live without The one he kept for me until it was time I put my hand in yours Said it's now and forevermore Just put your faith in me I will be all that you I pray and wait for you So patiently And now he's blessed our love For eternity The one I was praying for The one he delayed me for the one that God kept for me until it was time. Welcome in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to this joyful ceremony in celebration in, of the marriage of Willie and Keisha. God has ordained this day. Who gives this woman to be married? We do. <laughs> Come on up. Can I kiss you? <laughs> Willie, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> We can't go no faster to get to the honeymoon, so just calm down. All right. And then, go and grab her hand, man. There you go. Y'all put hands together. There you go. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today in the sight of God and this company to join together this man and woman in holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate 
instituted of God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ and declared by St. Paul to be honorable among men. It is not, therefore, to be entered into without holy advice or to be taken lightly, but reverently, soberly, advisedly, and in fear of God. Let us therefore, under the seriousness of this act, invoke God's divine present, uh, presence upon this occasion. Now I charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God, to remember that true love and faithful observance of his marital vows are required as the foundation of a successful marriage and the establishment of a happy and enduring home. Without these, there can be no real marriage. In the home in which you endeavor to establish, keep the solemn vows you are about to make. Live with tender consideration for each other. And remember to work on being married every day. Not just today, but every day. Every hour if you want to get down to it. But let me tell you, I'm going to move over here. Let me tell y'all something. Family. This is Keisha and Willie's wedding. Marriage, okay? So stay out of it. Stay out of it. Do I need to say it again? Stay out of it. Okay, one time, one of them may come over com complaining or crying or doing all kinds of stuff. Now, what, you, I, what I need you to do, I need you to give them a good meal, because you know, you can always talk to folks when you got some good food in front of them. Give them a good meal, give them some godly advice, not your advice, some godly advice, and then send them home. Send them home, because the only one that can make this, this marriage work is these two and God. That's it. So send them home, say, hey, Bro, man, sister, girl, you got to go home, okay? All right, now back to our regularly scheduled program. I'll read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses four through 13 from the NIV, it reads, <clears throat> love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not honor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves, perseveres. Love never fails. Where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part when I shall fully know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these Three things remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of all these is love. Amen. 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 All right. I got an amen corner over there. Amen. amen. Willie and Keisha have written their own vows. God must have done this. Keisha, my queen, I promise to love, honor, respect, and cherish you for the rest of my life. Amen. Amen. Well, I had written a little song, so 
Oh my god. Put that mic up there so they can hear you. That's a little bit The day that I found you. No, I'm sorry. The day I met you, I found my missing piece. Sure, you're right. Sure, you're right. <laughs> As I stand here with you in front of all of these witnesses, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being a blessing in my life. I want to take a moment to let you know how much I appreciate you. You are more. I'm more grateful to you more than words can express. You are an amazing man. I'm blessed to have found a considerate, unself unselfish, loving heart that cares for me every day. With all your acts of kindness and love shown towards me, that allows me to go stronger every day. Willie, I love you. Not for only for who you are, but for who I am when I'm with you. Amen. <laughs> Willie Charles Pfeiffer, do you take Keisha to be your wedded wife? And do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and that forsaking all others for her alone. You, got a few more, got a few more. You will perform unto her all the respect that a husband owes to his wife until God by death shall separate you? I do. Keisha Renee Gregory, do you take Willie to be your wedded husband and do you earnestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love him, comfort him, honor and obey him in sickness and in health, and that forsaking all others for him will perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes her husband until God by death shall separate you? I certainly do. Amen. Therefore, since it is the agreement of Willie and Keisha to be husband and wife, please join hands together before God, me and these witnesses, and repeat the marriage vow. Y'all speak up because I want y'all everybody to hear y'all, okay? I, Willie. I, Willie. Take thee, Keisha. Take thee, Keisha. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and health. In sickness and in health. And to love and cherish. And to love and cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge thee my love. I pledge thee my love. Okay. I, Keisha. I, Keisha. Take thee, Willie. Take thee, Willie. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. <laughs> to this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Till death do us part. To death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God, according to God's holy ordinance. There you go. And thereto I pledge thee my love. And thereto I pledge thee my love. Amen. Amen. May I have the rings? The exchanging of the rings express the couple's promise of faithfulness to each other. The unending circle of the ring is a symbol of eternity. The wedding ring itself is an outward expression as two hearts unite as one promising to love each other with fidelity for all eternity. Wearing of wedding bands throughout the couple's lifetime will tell all others of their commitment to be faithful. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign 
of an inward and an inward and spiritual grace signifying to all uniting of this man and woman in holy matrimony through the church of Jesus Christ our Lord in token and in pledge in token and in pledge of our constant faith and abiding love our constant faith and abiding love with this ring I thee wed with this ring I thee wed in the name of the Father in the name of the Father and the Son and the Son and the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost Amen Amen in token and pledge in token and in pledge of our constant faith and abiding love of our <laughs> constant, faith. constant faith and abiding love with this ring I thee wed with this ring I thee wed in the name of the Father in the name of the Father and the Son and the Son and the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost Amen Amen right. Willie and Keisha the outside candles have been lit to represent both your lives in this moment. They are two distinct lights, each capable of going their separate ways. As you join now in marriage, there is a merger of these two lights into one light. This is what the Lord meant when he said, on this account, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two shall be one flesh. From now on, your thoughts shall be for each other rather than for your individual selves. Your plans shall be mutual. Your joys and sorrows shall be shared alike. As each of you take a candle and together light the center one. Here you go. Who said we can make this work? Keep going. There you go. Amen. Amen. Let me get that for you. First, you will each separately pour a layer of sand. Yeah. Take a layer of sand and, and each one of you pour just a little bit of the sand in the bottom of that glass. You do yours and then Keisha will do hers. There you go. Now you do yours, Keisha. Okay. This represents you as individuals. Now pour the sand simultaneously, blending your two colors as you will blend your lives in marriage. As the individual grains of sand cannot be separated, your bond always will be inseparable. May God bless this marriage so that you are inseparable as the grains of sand. Amen. For as much as Willie and Keisha have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company and there to have pledged their love to each other and have declared the same by joining hands and giving, of, and, giving and receiving rings I pronounce that you are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Those whom God have joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. Amen. Now you can clap for them. Amen. Amen. All right, all right. Now you may salute the bride. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, turn around to face the crowd. Now, I, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Willie Pfeiffer. <laughs> now, it's time for you to jump the broom.
Gotta take 